and welcome to another InDesigns video. My name is Medi. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Alright, so in today's video, seeing that we are in the festive season, I thought let's try out something new that we haven't done before. So I've decided to use a design that is on Design Space so that you guys at home can try this with me. So we are going to do this personalized Christmas stocking and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to make it. And the design is available on Design Space and you literally just need three things. Your machine, a cardstock and glue. So you'll only need one um, 12 by 12 inch red cardstock and a white 12 by 12 inch cardstock. And then obviously the glue, you can either use any glue or some double sided tape to make this box. Alright, so before we get into the rest of this video, please remember to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get notifications every time, every time I post a video. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so the design that we want to use today is a design that is already on Design Space. So let's go get it. I have saved it already in my saved um, folder but you can get it under the Christmas folder as well um, but I'm just gonna quickly get it from my saved folder so the file we're using today is this personalized Christmas stocking and if you open it you can scroll through the preview to see how it looks the end product as well as what your file will look like it also gives you the finished size and the description as well as what material you will need for this project. Alright, so I'm actually not going to be using the iron on vinyl for the names. I would like to cut it on cardstock. So let's go customize. First things first, I want to change the color of the name as well as change the color because I want to do it in red cardstock instead of vinyl so let's just change the name and make it red and the Merry Christmas change that color to white so that all the white prints together and all the red prints together so now I'm just going to attach the name to the boot so that it automatically changes to the same color just in case that the red I've chosen is not right. Then I'm going to send the entire thing to the back so that we can see our white pieces as well. Now we're just going to go to make it unless there's anything else you want to change you you can of course do some more changes you can change the color if you want to but i just want to keep it standard like this so let's go make it and here we see we have two pages that we need we have one white page and one red page which we will be using it's going to score and cut next up we are going to go to the machine Next machine. Okay, so the cardstock that I'm using is 260 grams, so I'm just going to choose it here. And then I would like to change my tools because I don't have a scoring wheel, but I do have a scoring stylus. So then in the options, you just go and change it to the scoring stylus and apply. That is it. And now let's make it. Okay, so this is the cardstock I'm going to be using. It's this red and white. I just got it at the hobby shop. I need to add my scoring stylus in here.
Okay, let's have a look. Alright, so the Merry Christmas did not um, come out that nice. We have some issues here on the cardstock um, and then there and there. So I'm guessing that this is probably the reason why they would prefer to use a vinyl or something. But I really wanted to try it and see if it would actually work. But everything else cut perfectly. I don't know if you guys can see that. Alright, so next up we've got the red paper. Okay, let's look at this one. Okay, that name cut nice. And we can see the boot. And everything. There we go, that's perfect. So, it actually didn't cut through. So, on the front, it looks perfect, but on the back, it didn't cut through. So now we have to, unfortunately, recut it. Just some pieces that cut. So these things do happen, unfortunately, but that is just how we learn. So let's go quickly and recut it. Okay, now we need to fold all the score lines, which is there, there and there, and also here and here and here. So let's do that quickly. And then I'm just going to take this little um, tool of mine, my squeegee, and just push it down. makes it so much easier to fold and everything. Okay, now we have to do these small ones. So I'm just going to fold all of them a little bit like this and then take my um, squeegee and just sort of press it down. What we can do is flip it around and just push it over and there we go all our little flaps are done let's do the other side once again i'm gonna just flip it over and press it down there we go well done Now it's time to fold our boot. Okay, so before we can actually fold our little boot, we need to put on the white pieces. So I'm going to do that quickly. So let's just see where everything goes before we stick it. Um, ooh. So that goes there. And then this one. Where does this one go? I think this one actually goes in the front. In the back. It actually goes in the back. So this one will go there. And then I think we're missing a piece. Oh, here we go. It's still in the paper. So this one will go there. Okay, perfect. So we're just going to stick it there. I'm just going to use some double sided tape because I think that the glue is just going to take a little long at the moment. So I'm just using this really like thin, as you can see it's like paper thin double sided tape. So I'm just going to stick it in the middle. Oh my
get your positioning and then stick it down. One down, four more to go. Now, generally, we would put Merry Christmas on here, but now, me being trying to be different, we don't have a Merry Christmas because I've cut it on card and it's not working. But you can cut it on normal vinyl or on iron on vinyl as requested. Okay, so next thing we are going to do is I just want to see. So we need to fold our box now but we obviously need to put some tape on before we do that let's just put that in there and let's see before we put any glue on what we are going to do okay so that's what it's going to look like more or less so we need to just glue it I think maybe we need to use normal glue for these small pieces. And then double sided tape for the rest. Okay, so let's do that. cut it in half because it's too big, too wide for what I need it for. This double sided tape is very sticky. later. Now this piece, I'm going to cut a piece off here so that we can put it on this little piece here. And then another piece for this little piece here. Perfect. Now we need to get some glue. Oh, you know what? I might actually be able to put Really, really small pieces. Let's see if this is gonna work. Oh. No, no, no. Would not suggest using double-sided tape for that. glue that I have for these pieces here. Put a little bit on each one. Because it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm not going to give it to anybody. It's just I'm just making it for this tutorial and as a practice so that we can see. And I actually ended up not recutting it. I just pushed out the card. But as you guys can see, I wouldn't suggest doing that because now I have to trim it every time I want to use it. Okay, so I want to start by pushing this in so that we have time for... For the double sided tape to just easily use it. So let's just see. Ooh, this is a bit tricky. Okay, so let's just. Oh, it's easier to push it down. Okay, 
So do the one side and then we will do the other side. My goodness. This is a little bit tricky, so have patience. If you don't have patience, it's not going to work. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm just pushing it down. You can see it's sort of just moving out of the way, but there we go. I think that's better. Sort of just need to get the shape of the boot. Okay, perfect. I need to just shape this as well. I think that's going to be a little bit more difficult to do the other side because then you don't have so much space to work with. Um, so yeah, just using the, using the back of my reading tool just to like really push it in there and get it just so that the glue can settle. before we do the rest. We don't want to carry on to the other side and then it ends up coming off. Okay. Okay, I think that's fine. That's the one side. That side is done. That looks so cute. It actually looks like a little Kong. Okay, so now let's do the other side, which I think it's going to be more tricky, but let's just do it. We need to first shape that and then Oh this is very tricky. Let's just do that thing. Okay, I need my weeder tool here to actually press it down because it's very tricky. Our boot sides are done. There we go. It's not that easy, but it worked. I don't know if you guys can see on the inside. That's just more or less how I cut. Wow, I glued it. All right. So now I'm gonna go take the double sided tape off everything else, and we are going to start sticking it. I think what I want to do is maybe put some double sided tape here on the inside as well. Stick it. Just gonna take it one piece at a time so that we just do it very nicely and make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. Might have to just glue this piece down. I think I'm gonna do that. Just glue this inside piece. Oh goodness, my hands. This inside piece here. So show you guys this. It just sort of looks like it's not supposed to be there. So I think I'm gonna just take some other side of tape and just um, glue it down. I'm gonna take my weeding tool and just push it in there because my hands are too big. There we go, and then I'm just going to push it against the front. There we go, that's perfect. If you guys can see, just so that we've got that shape to hold. There we go, perfect, no flap anymore. Okay, next up we've got these two sections here, which we need to do together. Take them off together so that we can stick them together. Do this. And there we go. Perfect. Once again, taking my reader tool because it just helps so much. Let's just push it 
down and then I will do it with the side as well. There we go, perfect. We've got our boot which looks so cute. I absolutely love it. Now, we need to get our top piece which is this. We need to score it quickly. We go just fold it on the score lines. Must go around. Oh, I think this is actually the front, so it's going to fit like this. So this is what it's going to look like when it's done. Okay, so let's put some double-sided tape on here. Once again, I'm just putting it in the middle because I don't think it's necessary to put it everywhere. Now you can obviously use double-sided tape or glue. Um, it really doesn't matter. I'm just using double sided tape because I don't have to wait for the glue to dry. And of course double sided tape just works so much easier. Okay, now let's stick it to our boot. So that's the top piece. What we're gonna do, so first of all we're gonna stick the front piece here at the top. Make sure it's stuck on properly before we do the rest. I think that's perfect. Now going to the side. Other side. Oh, a bit of a skew there, but okay. Do this. And there we go. Perfect. And there is our little boot. But we are not done yet. We still need to put in our little tassel that needs to go in. So that is very easy. We're just going to slide it in here. Oh, I hope I didn't see. And there is our little boot. How freaking adorable is that? So cute. 